I mean, Alison Pearson, 1.2 million flooding into the country in a year. Net migration at a record wow. high after all of those promises. And Sunak today will not commit to a number. No, absolutely astonishing. So last year, 504,000 mm -hmm. net immigration. This year, 606,000. That's two Bristols, Dan. That's two cities the size of Bristol. It's astonishing. And are we, I, I was saying this to Sean earlier, are we building any Bristols to put these people in? Absolutely no, we're not. not. It's literally, they can all come in and the population, the resident population has to just suck it up. And what we're seeing is an emergence, I think, in the government of two factions within the Conservatives. You've got the Treasury and you've got the likes of Jeremy Hunt, the sort of elite, mm -hmm. bring them in, fill in the gaps in the skills, fill in the gaps in the jobs. These are skills and jobs that they should have been training young British people to do, instead of which they prefer a Ponzi scheme, bring in more and more migrants, do the jobs, the migrants get older, bring in more and more migrants. And so we go on and on. And it'll be a city the size of London. And so it goes on. And then you've got the other Conservatives, um, people we've seen recently, the new Conservatives, the Red Wall MPs like Lee Anderson, Miriam Cates, those Tories, they understand that this has an impact on real people's lives, on the ability of their kids to get on the housing ladder, to get places at their for their children at schools, um, to have operations and so on. So you've got this very, very detached bunch of Tories looking at the spreadsheets. It's all about the economy for them. But the economy, Dan, is about people. People are more important than the economy. And I think this is going to be a suicide note for the Conservative Party if they don't get control of it. I, I think I'd have Sean to say Bailey, that. how do you respond to that? It goes beyond the Tory party, doesn't it? Because it's the, it's the sort of metropolitan liberal elite who are not competing for these jobs, who have their homes settled, who have mm. great finances and, and who have a pension. They're not the same working class people who've had their salaries lowered over the last 10, 15, 20 years. As a country, we've been addicted to, to cheap labour for a very long time. It's why most working class people voted for Brexit, because they saw it as their way of pushing back. But what I will say about what the Prime Minister did, in a way, he did the correct thing because you showed a VT of everybody saying, we're going to bring it down to this, we're going to bring it down to that, and they just set themselves up to fail. And Rishi Sunak has two tasks to do. Yes, he has to lower the numbers, but he also has to deal with a metropolitan liberal elite because the minute you say something about immigration, instead of having a detailed conversation about people and economy, you're just told you're racist. So the numbers we have now are not solely the fault of the Conservative Party. They are the fault of the opposition as well. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, what will Keir Starmer do? I know, but the problem is we know what Keir Starmer will do. That's irrelevant. The only way for the Conservatives to stay in power is to actually prove that they'll do something different to Keir Starmer, which I, I at the moment they're not I doing. I don't disagree. The Conservatives have to do something. The yeah. party has to do something. And yeah, this but isn't, more than what this isn't done a race this war. This, this is about the sustainability of, of the country. Okay. Yeah. I don't understand. Amy, let me just quickly put one. something to you. Is it true that you say free movement is a gift? Of course it was, because I've actually got some lovely little numbers to back this up. So <laughs> EU go. migrants <clears throat> bring in four billion a year, non-EU migrants bring in nine billion a year, and British workers cost forty-one billion. How, pounds how many? How a many year. people do you think we can? The take thing is, as I think when the, the Conservatives have made, yeah, but just as a number, the, the, the number is irrelevant. That as much these people. Well, no, the number isn't irrelevant. It, no, 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 it the number is, is long, totally as long, relevant. As long as the cost. Is, is it's not costing No, no, because where are these people hold living? On, hold on, right. answer this How question. How are they getting the house What Dan, schools wait, are they going to? The, the question that needs sure. answering then, hold on, answer this question. Right. If, if, if immigration is, you know, cost positive the whole time, mm -hmm. why, not do the we, whole time. why do we have the largest tax burden that we've ever had? Where is it, why, why do we have to pay all this money I, if immigrants are making everything beautiful? Well, the immigrants are basically running the NHS at the moment. So if you didn't have the migrants, you wouldn't have the NHS running. Not at the, the moment, NHS. we should be, we um, should have trained our own doctors and nurses the problem, the problem is that Sean's government have cut training to those doctors, so we don't have the numbers of doctors we need. So okay. we depend but can I just on migrant labour. We with you. depend but on Amy, it in the today NHS. is about numbers. Today is about numbers. The fact that we can't today is our... about numbers, though. Yeah, but so, this so, is the so, thing. So I think you need to, you need what to... is too much? I, I net don't, migration. I don't, what's too much? The, the, okay, How much you... can we take? Can we take one million a year so in net numbers, migration? Two million. The numbers you've presented us with today are skewed because they include temporary migrants. That's the people we've resettled from you. 
Ukraine, the people we've repatriated from Hong Kong, um, and it also that's, includes that's, international that's students. Okay, but what Inter number? International, yeah. international yeah. students impact. bring billions into our economy. They, still have an they also prop up our higher education sector well, and make it. Not when they're bringing their mum, their brother, their sister, who their all, daughter. Uh, who but, but, will use our services, is, pay into our system, no, they, buy products. They, they don't. But, but, but no, Dan, don't. But, but this is the key thing. The mantra has always been that immigration adds to our economy. And for some years, that's been true. Okay, but Sean, but what is it now? You. What, what is it number, now? though? What number? Because look, I am prepared to state a number, which is tens of thousands. Personally, I actually if think we need a couple me, of years are you asking me for a of, number? of net tens zero of you migration. Yes. for a number? I would say below 100,000. There's your number. There's and your line in the sand. You so said, much net. damage. No, Sean, no, you no, said that, that Rishi can't commit to a number. Yeah, but I'm it's not basically Rishi. basically now um, hovering around uh, 500,000. That's yeah. outrageous. Just to make this point, Amy, OK, so we were supposed to have, we were promised, an Australian points-based system. Which we basically which brings, have that, don't we? No, we control. do not have that because no, they don't. have diluted the entry mm. criteria to the point that someone earning 26,000 a year can come in yeah. and be eligible for benefits that is not I mean, a point you, but you system. try getting into Australia it's really, really hard. hard and that's the point point. and no one is saying the Australians are a country of racists and xenophobics they're, they're, what they say is they are a country that respects its own borders but you're not respecting key industries the agriculture industry depends on migrant workers without them it where are they collapse. living I mean, where are they living? And, and you can see... Where are they living? Where are they living, though? The fact that... Where are they living? House building Amy, is a completely Amy, separate Amy, issue to this. To we need... No, it's our, not separate. Our, Amy, Amy, our they got to that situation. of they selling got, off council houses and having a complete situation. lack of housing... Amy, you, a, you simply do not know what you're talking about. We got to that situation because we relied on that labour too much. And if you're talking about council housing, are you suggesting that an immigrant would be would be eligible for a council house? That then means working... I am people suggesting people who need those houses who've been on the list for years wouldn't get I'm one. Suggesting that's, that's exactly that's the kind of argument woeful, you can't make. We are heading, we are let me, heading let, for civil Alison, unrest. Me, if you it, take that attitude, Amy, people will rightly say, we've lived here, we've yeah, paid in the it, queue. where are the benefits? We, OK, Amy, final word to you. Our woeful lack of investment into the housing sector has very little Simply to do true. with migrants. Simply that's, not true. Um, our society is... Founded and depends well, look, all I'm going to say, migrants. I'm just going to present the stark statistics again. We are building little over 200,000 uh, houses a year at the moment. Terrible. Over 600,000 are entering the country. So, figure out the difference. Where are those 400,000 living? Amy Nicole, Sean Bates, Don't forget Alison they're making Pearson, 10 billion a year as well for the country. All night.